folks with Beano Black and basically three videos today to show you that basically we have a black light because we're basically here at the uh, I'm trying to remember it doesn't really matter what the name of it is right now this is all educational purposes and everything like that and basically we're zooming out the galaxy okay outside the Milky Way of the galaxy okay okay now as we come back into the Milky Way galaxy, and there's many galaxies, that's so space is infinite, you're going to end up seeing that uh, outside uh, in the supergiants and also in our Milky Way galaxy, in the huge distance of space, okay, and as we zoom uh, off the reload, it's no big deal. <clears throat> it'll come back up and you can see the base of what we're at and everything like that give it time to load okay and now we're outside again and then we will actually go all the way out other galaxies okay and then we'll come back in Come on, baby. Here we go. Okay. And we'll slow down a little bit. And we'll come back out a little bit. And then we'll keep zooming in. Okay, and then we're going to come to Earth eventually. Okay, this is all out in space. It's getting mapped constantly. There's Cyrus, biggest, closest star to Earth is Cyrus. Okay, and then we have the Sun, our star in our solar system. Okay, one light year from Earth to the Sun. Okay, then we have the Oort cloud, and all these supergiant sun light has to come through that. Now, when we're inside of our solar system, one light year. Okay, we go through the Oort cloud, and then we have from the sun to earth, but from the sun to earth, and we'll reload, but I think you have enough factual there that I can pop down real fast, and from the sun to earth right here in this shot, there's the sun, and as you see between the sun, the light curvature coming to earth, it hits other planetoid objects and stars because there is within one IU, okay, reflected whether it's in between, whether these stars are in between the sun, they are at a distance of one IU off in a view from Earth up into space as we're looking at the sun, you see. So those stars reflect light curvature, their twinkle, and then, yeah, twinkle, twinkle. So stars twinkle to the sun, which is a star, okay. You can see massive distances off in space, and then we end up getting supergiant stars that are four to 78 times the size of the sun. In today's three videos, you're realizing that we get that starlight down here on Earth. Now we'll pump this up to 888. Um, just doing it on camera and everything like that. It wastes a lot of time, but it makes you realize that we're actually looking of what we're looking at okay so these supergiant stars are in alignment with even the sun as you can see because these are supergiant stars and basically we also have planetoid objects between us and the sun and I've proved that in my videos lately okay because it's just factual okay and then it's at angles that you will catch it at the South and North Pole. And this is up at the North Pole area, okay, because we're at a webcam, okay. Now we'll, we'll pump in on the uh, magnifier real fast. Light will travel infinitely until it has no power to travel anymore. 
So the bigger the suns you have, the farther the light will travel through our solar system from outside our solar system. system as you see that that's star and also has stars in front of it. It's basically the webcam at nighttime and everything like that. And I'm not going to stumble and bumble through the names, but the ones that we're seeing from up in Alaska, stuff like that. So as you see, there's stars in front of stars that are way smaller than the stars that are four to 78 times the size of the sun, but you're in the supergiants, and no matter what, are bleeding through down to here on Earth, okay? And they're in alignment. Some are bigger, some are smaller. And then you can see the di diamond type shape of the stars that are way the hell out when that light travels through objects that are even made of diamonds and so forth and minerals of, that are even of Earth and minerals that are not on Earth. So and there's the sun and then we'll pop out to like 150. That's what you're looking at, and we come across, and we'll zoom in on our readout shot, okay? And there is no doubt, I'm just making a little bit of dope, but that's the name of the volcano in the mountain area is readout. And readout exposure 400 March 1st, and this was 2013, okay, so the 1st of March, okay? So basically, it's not just sun dogs it's actually light that's going bling bling star to star from the sun cyrus it could be just about anything you're that you could end up figuring out if you do enough ast astronomy research you can end up figuring out and we'll get this to reload so lots of times there's plenty of scientists and physicists that are trying to figure out, okay, where, how far out and what star is that? And there are stars out there that are four to 78 times the size of the sun. And I will research them and go through them with you as we go from all the way out in the galaxies to our Milky Way galaxy, down into the mapping outstretches that we're going at. down to Cyrus, all the way into the sun in our solar system, the Oort cloud that encompasses our solar system, and there's objects that go around, you watch the video today, there's objects that go around our solar system, they circle the sun, and sometimes they take 200 years to come back around the sun, okay, this is where we cut off earlier on showing you the actual factual, we'll get in on the sun, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, remember this is flat, these uh, planets rotate around the sun at different heights, okay, and then into the sun, into the well in our solar system, our magnetic, which has other magnets that are outside the solar system that help our magnetics. And I've showed you the meatballs out in space. So let's go to my footage as we can give you some more of one light year and out we get locked up there so here we go so there's plenty of meatballs out there you can watch all my videos and you'll see that I'll show you out in space how many meatballs there is actual factual scientific NASA data pictures from Soho Array because I've showed you many of our meatballs that we have out in space that are basically part of our magnetical with the Sun and I'll hit play here and I think you'll be able to there you get one froze there, huge meatball that's way up, and I'll give you a little bit more footage of this, and this has been in my videos, and it's in my archives, and basically it's at Sechi Sohan Road, too. So, and this play, hopefully this will unlock, but that is one of the huge meatballs that we have that's out in space bigger than the one that's closer to us in the sun and as you can see the light energy and here we should be able to play through this, some of this footage and the dates and time are correct and everything that's everything there that's one of the meatballs there to the lower left and then that was when mercury was coming around and then there was stuff that eclipsed the sun okay nothing new with this recent stuff this was stuff that actually blocked the light of the sun out there yep that's not a mechanical 
camera getting blocked with sunlight. That was the sun that got blocked there. I've done this in all my videos before. And I'll show you where all my videos are at. The majority of the older ones right now are at my website. If you're new to this footage and stuff, you see that, that basically eclipsed the sun. And then you can see the meatball on the darkness of space up there. Mother Nature is showing us what's out there in space by getting froze. And there I showed the meatball there. That's way up there. And it's huge. So all this stuff is actual factual. Everything is bleeding down to Earth because of the su super giant suns that are four to seven eight times the size of the sun. So and there is an object in space that's 747 times the size of the sun that we know that we've found so far. So the, the space is vast. It's infinite. Okay. So this stuff's out there. So. Check out all my meatball footage that basically at my channel. Which basically I can pop back through here real fast with no sound. I know there's sound in the background right now. I'm visiting some family today, killing some time. And what we'll do is we'll pop back to the, the featured video that'll explain where the new videos are at. And yeah, there's click right now because I don't have my mic. But it doesn't matter, you get the fact. It's interesting how I mute one video and it should go mute it all the way across. So dealing with the sounds and then you can get over. These are where my old videos are stored at. Okay. As you can see. And actually, I'm. Am I at the new channel or the old channel? I'm at the old channel. So all the all the videos are stored over there. Okay, meatball action. Plenty of meatball action. And you can get back over to the new channel. You can click here. You can also click here. And I know it's getting repetitive, but people, there's other people that come in and watch the site because people will say to come here for the actual scientific fact because we have super giant stars bleeding through. And then uh, that's what we're seeing down at the South Pole and at Alaska. And let's go ahead and pop over to the channel where the new videos are at. And then you always go to the featured channel. And you can see the new videos here. So there'll be more videos here. There's three today. And then this one here will explain to you it's on the featured channel. It features this body holy hockey fact fact Beano Black will give you what's going on at the South Pole and a lot of this is what's going on at the North Pole. So basically we've got more footage basically from uh, the twenty eighth. Okay, this is footage from I got from a guy that was originally found some of this stuff. I wasn't looking at the, you know, there's been people find it. But the, the factual here is you'll see the diamond shape of the star that bleeds through all these. These are stars that are totally in the Milky Way galaxy and maybe even possibly other galaxies. It doesn't really matter about that. But these are supergiant stars and even possibly stars that are farther out than the supergiants that are huge. As you can see, it's way more than one. Okay. But at the same time, we cannot take away from the actual fact that the idea that if it's shooting straight away like a projector, like a flashlight, like what the sun gives us the light curvature and shines on Earth every day, from a far distance you can know that it's a diamond shape. But it's coming through and it's getting all the dark objects, the planetoid objects and everything as you can see there. And we'll zoom in on some of these shots here. Okay, And I'm starting to feel since it's in such a straight line, it's probably the star that we are seeing down at the South Pole. Okay, there's one huge star that's coming through our Milky Way galaxy. Our, our well, it's coming through Milky Way galaxy. Absolutely coming through the solar system, and it's probably just one star because of the straight alignment. I.e., all the pictures are basically showing us that it's straight alignment. Okay, straight alignment coming across, right? And then it's rotation also too. So there's a good chance. Because you can see somewhat rotation, okay? I.e., you can see rotation. I.e., it looks like rotation here. So it, there's a good chance that this is a hyperbolic star. And it could be the one that they've been studying for a long time, okay? So because, like I say, the pixels will be bad here, but I can zoom in pretty good. Okay? So there's a good chance, since we see this here, also, that this is a hyperbolic star 
but no matter what this is a hyperbolic star I would say now pretty much coming down to it because it's in such a straight line now there's been three videos of us going through this theorizing and thinking of it but when you 